Okay, here's the latest creation. It is the wizard puzzle box. All these little sculptures I actually carved them out of wax and then used the lost wax in plaster. Basically, you put it in plaster, melt the wax out, and then pour hot um, brass into it. And I've got these little carvings around the edge. Sort of hard to see in this lighting, but they are important to the puzzle. So I will show you how it works. So first off, you come to this front corner and you look under here and you see that little snake carved in right there. So you have to turn that leg and that makes it so you can get behind here, the pillar. And behind the pillar is a little wand. You take that wand, you look up here, you see a hole it can go in. Put it in there, Oop, pop it in, and then you go to the next corner, you have the knot, the tree. So to get into that, you have to push the knot and that makes it so you can turn the pillar. Sort of hard to do with my fat fingers, but that makes it so that pillar will turn. Take that wand, push it in its hole. And on this side, you got the snake and the girl writing in the journal. And when you open, you can open this right here. There's a wand inside of there. Take the wand, put it up here. You're gonna need it later. There's also a key inside of here. The reason I built this key is you'll see, my finger's sort of fat, so I couldn't turn. I'll show you. But it says the scar holds the key that only the curse can set free. And so while that's open, you can turn this pillar. Well, it's not, otherwise it locks. So you can open that, that lets you turn this pillar, get that wand, put it in its spot, and then on the side you have the hourglass, and most people can turn the hourglass just with their little fingers, but I can't, so I built a key because I'm a cheater. So you turn that all the way back. That makes it so this pillar will turn. And then you get that wand. You come over here, and as you put it into its little spot, look down here and you'll see that it lights up. So you know that you've got them all in the right spot. And then the scar holds the key that only the or that only the curse can set free. And so you get your Wand, you touch it to the scar. Let's see if I can get it right. That makes the key come out. You take the key. And then unlock it. And I actually found that key in Spain. And I don't know, but I think that might be a, a Knights of Templar cross. So that's cool. And then, but you're not done. So you can't get into it. It's not, it's still locked. So you take the you have to put all the wands back. That one's back. This one, you have to set the time back. Take the wand, put it back right there. Turn it and it'll lock into place. Over here, take this. back you don't need the wand anymore take your wand put it there turn that and it'll lock in place take the wand put it back there and then now it'll open yeah that is the wizard puzzle box and that's why it won't open unless you put the uh the uh pillars back because that locks against there so you can't turn it when it's locked but yeah so you have to put it back otherwise it'll lock the whole thing up
So yeah, that's it. That's the uh, wizard puzzle chest or whatever. Not a game for fat fingers.